We're exhausted. I think my pivot turned into a pirouette that's just like never ending. It's just spinning and spinning. But out of that, I think we've really come up with some amazingly creative different things that we haven't done before that are a lot of fun. So we were lucky enough to do a couple concerts. We have one coming up, Rosewood. And that's been really nice. Outdoors, limited to 50 people, socially distancing. We're very strict about our outdoor policies and it's been going really well actually. But September brings us Labor Day weekend. So on the 5th, we do our cars and coffee and we've also opened it up to be a community day. So we've invited all the nonprofits and some businesses, all the Oxford people. So if you're a new resident or you just haven't really known what's going on lately, you could come and in one place, you'll have all the tables representing the nonprofits. You can sign up on their volunteer clipboards and stuff like that. And then the sixth, we have um, the artists from Oxford. They usually do a studio walking tour. And that's now gonna just be basically like Plain Air Easton was, we have a little exhibit along our driveway of their work. So we can still showcase the Oxford artists for a little open gallery kind of vibe. And then that evening at five, we have our dog parade. We have um, started a calendar contest with our Oxford dogs and that is so much fun. You can go on our website and vote for your favorite dog and it's been hilarious. There's just such a fun bunch of animals up there. So we're gonna bring them out, parade them around, give the awards, announce who's the cover and just have a lot of fun that evening. And then a new event we started is September 19th. It's the, a road rally, it's the OCC Charity Road Rally. So the Cars and Coffee guys who have the most amazing cars, it's unbelievable these cars, they're getting together, they've made a whole route and they go through Oxford and up through Chestertown and then they're gonna have a big lunch in Chestertown together. And it's just gonna be a 60 mile drive through the countryside. So it's just a beautiful tour a really fun group of people. We're limiting that to 50 also just to sort of maintain space, but we'll bring you breakfast to your car and then the box lunches to your car. So you're socially distanced the whole, the whole day. And then um, the picket fences, we're gonna bring the picket fences all together and auction them off on the 26th. That's a great, we just, we tried to retire the event. The OBA was, you know, just heralded with, please don't end that event. It's so great. And it's a different charity for every, Fence that's bought. So that's a lot of fun for the different organizations that are selected. And then also new, this is us coming up with different things in October. We're going to have a run walk, a really nice run walk event. And we're going to do it with the Christopher Bradley Foundation, the Foundation for Life. So it's mental health, kind of depression awareness, um, topics like that, that in October. So we really want people to realize they're not alone. Everything OCC is doing is to really get you out of your isolation. This is At the end of October, it'll be Halloween. You wear a tutu if you want, running up and down the streets. If we can't, I mean, we'll do all the social distancing. We'll have staggered departure times and waves of different, um, different areas being walked on. And it may go virtual if, if we have to. So we have that option, of course. I have one last thing I want to share. Yes. We won two grants that we are so grateful for. We won the COVID um, CARES grant from the Maryland Humanities, which is why we were able to get all the cameras and do the Steinway series recording and pay the bands to do concerts and things like that. So thank goodness for them. And then we won the Maryland um, Heritage Areas Authority, so Stories of the Chesapeake grant. And that is such a great project. So that's really what's gonna take my attention for the rest of the year, is it's a multimedia documentary based on the 1980s, when the townspeople down here really petitioned to save this building from the wrecking ball. Like it literally was slated to be torn down. And the spirit of these people in this community just stomped the grounds and just moved the earth and kept this building alive. So the names behind us are the original signatures of the townspeople who were petitioning and the spirit of these Oxford residents just is so perfect for today. You know, it's just peaceful, democratic uh, uprising, if you will, of just the spirit of saving this building and creating it to be a community center for everybody. 